Hey guys, what's up? It's Milos Control, and today I'm gonna show you how to add subtitles to your video. Why we need to add subtitles? Because sometimes your audience does not speak the language that is being spoken in your video, so you will have to add some subtitles. Okay, now the first step is you need to find a good font. You need something unique, you need something that no one have used before. If you go to this website 100freefonts.com you can find many free fonts and you can use them freely. In my case I have the handwriting type of fonts. In my opinion there is one criteria that you must focus on which is that your font must be easy to read. Let's go to any project you have some audio uh, you have the song you have some audio you want to add subtitles to your audio. First you need to have a video track which is only for your subtitles. I have this one here. If you go after your project, after your video is done and click add, right click, insert text media, you will add a text media to your project and let's call it sample. Select it all, press Control A and change the, the font size to about 24 whatever you like font you want to use uh, when you install any any font it, it will be added here automatically so just use any one you like let's say this one each font got its own size meaning to say if I change the font maybe it will look bigger though the font size is supposed to be the same so this is too small it's Increase it to 28. Okay, I prefer to keep it bold. And now you need to do outline. No, that's not what we are looking for. If you change the color of your outline to black and take the feather down, or not the feather, the, the width to about or whatever you like and this is quite important why because if you have bright footage and you are using white font you will not be able to read what's written this outline makes it easier to read so we are done with the first step and one more thing if you come here to text media duration change it to about whatever big number it is 20 is enough and now we need to place our text because we don't want it to to be in the middle of our video we go to placement don't change the value of the x just change the value of the y let's say positive 0 0.8 okay i think it's good enough and now extend your text to about um, as much as you like let's say in my case i extend it to it and a half seconds then we go to the event crop pan tool now we are in the event crop pan tool make sure turn this one off keep this one lock aspect ratio keep it on and go to the last keyframe and now what we have to do go to this top middle node bring it down and that's it now what's happening is our font is getting bigger it's like we are zooming in our font which makes it look a little more you can say dynamic now let's take it back to small duration and now we need it to fade out whatever value you want let's say 0 0.8 and let it fade in quickly now what we have here is a sample that we can use instead of applying the same text settings to every single sentence so imagine that we have a project and now we need to add some subtitles so you copy this one and keep it here and we go to wherever we want to add subtitles paste it and then you can adjust its duration so now how to find the subtitles the meaning of what what is being said if you click on your audio open in tremor and if you have in the first place you have your subtitles on your video you will have you will see this otherwise you will have to find another way to 
to make to know the translation. So let's say all creatures you just copy it down and make sure you don't do any spelling mistakes like I do always. For example, la la la. And now I need you to put this thing in mind. Now, for example, our act, our actors stop talking at this point, but we don't have to stop at this point. Why? Because you need to you need to give a chance for your audience to read what is written. Because usually they will be looking at what is written and at the video itself. So you need to get, give them more time instead of finishing right here and just cut. No, you you give them more time as much as you can let your text fade out so you do the same for every single sentence and the good thing is you are saving your time by by making this sample thing and instead of applying the same settings on every text what you can do also is you copy this one paste it imagine if we have sample Sample. Sometimes the sentences are too long that you have to write them in two, two lines. Sometimes we need to adjust the displacement, but in, my, in our case here it's good. You can sometimes even change the leading amount, which is the space between the lines. As you can see here we have a little too big space between the two lines so we can take it down all right so that's it for today at smilos control see you next weekend peace